breaks the spell. Hold on, old man. We have got to hold on. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? It's a girl! Why, yes, of course, I can see it's a girl. It's a girl! You who? Now, Lumiere, let me do the talking. Shut As head of this household, I believe I should do the talking. Mademoiselle! Mademoiselle, the word that's all I'm asking for. Uh, you won't believe what I saw. Not in a million thousand years. Not even in a trillion million thousand years. Yes, dear? No, really. It's the greatest thing. The thing that everyone's been waiting for since, since. I don't know when. <laughs> All right, Chip, what is it? There's a girl in the castle. Oh, bless my soul. Wouldn't that be lovely? But there is. I saw her. Now, Chip, I will not have you going around and making up wild stories and getting everyone's hopes up for nothing. Mrs. Potts, there is a girl in the castle. See, I told you, and she's real pretty, too. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's a girl after all these years. Oh, isn't it wonderful? She has come to break the spell. Wait a minute. Oh, oh. Wait a minute, let's not be hasty. Isn't it wonderful? After all these years, oh, happy, happy day. Mwah, mwah. Oh, stupid, stop that. We should tell the others, no? Yes, I mean, no. Wait, wait a minute. Hello? Is anyone here? Please. I'm looking for my father. Belle, is that you? Papa! How did you find me? Papa, your hands are like ice. Who has done this to you? Belle, you must leave this place. We have to get you out of here. There's no time to You must go now! I won't leave you here. Who's there? I know someone's there. Who are you? The master of this castle. Then you're the one who's responsible for this. Release my father at once. I am the master of this castle. I do not take orders from anyone. Throw her out. No, wait, please. Can't you see he's not well? Then he should not have trespassed here. But he's an old man. He could die. He came into my home uninvited. And now he'll suffer the consequences. No, wait, please. I'll do anything. There's nothing you can do. Wait, please. There's nothing you can do. T take me instead. No! What did you say? Take me instead. Belle, you don't know what you're doing. You would do that? You would take his place? If I did, would you let him go? Yes, but you must promise to stay here forever. No! Forever? Forever, or he dies in the dungeon. That's not fair! Wait. Come into the light. Make your choice. Belle, listen to me. I'm old. I've lived my life. You have my word. Done. Papa! No, please, I'm begging no. you. Spare Wait, my please. daughter. Wait! Let Papa. her go! Take him to the crossroads. Let her go! Belle! Belle! Uh, Master? <laughs> Master, please! Since the girl is going to be with us for quite some time now, you may want to consider offering her a more comfortable room. You didn't let me say goodbye. What? I'll never see my father again and I didn't even get to say goodbye. I'll show you to your room. My room? But I thought... Do you want to stay in the dungeon? No. Then follow. You follow me! This is your home now. You're free to go anywhere you like, except the West Wing. Why? What's in it's the It's forbidden. Wing? You're never to set foot in there. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. This is your room. I hope you'll be comfortable here. If you need anything, my servants will attend to you. And one more thing. You will join me for dinner. And that is not a request. Yes. 
I made the choice For Papa I will stay But I don't deserve to lose my freedom in this way You monster If you think that what you've done is right Well then You're a fool like some tea. But you're... Nothing like a nice warm cup of tea to make the world seem a bit... Oh, careful, darling! <laughs> Who are you? Um, Madame de la Grande Bouge. Perhaps you heard of me. Sorry. You see? They've forgotten all about me. One can be, and I quote, the toast of Europe, the brightest star to ever grace the stage. Fall under one little spell. Shh. Wait. This is impossible. Oh, I know it is. And here we are. <laughs> oh, let's see. What shall we dress you in for dinner? This is nice. <laughs> oh, oh, but how would you like to wear one of my gowns? Let's see what I've got in my drawers. Here it is! I wore this the night I performed at the Royal Opera. Oh, the king himself was there. Of course, I haven't a prayer heading into it now. Take it! <laughs> That's very kind of you, but I won't be going to dinner. Don't be silly. Of course you are. You heard what the master said. He may be your master, but he is not mine. Oh, I'm sorry. This is all just happening so fast. That was a very brave thing you did, my dear. We all think so. I'm going to miss my papa so much. Oh, cheer up, child. I know things may seem bleak right now, but, but you mustn't despair. We're here to see you through. I hope that we'll be friends, though I don't know you well. If anyone can make the most of living here, then Belle, it's you. And who knows, you may find home here too.
does she think she is? That girl has tangled with the wrong man. Darn right! No one says no to Gaston. Dismissed, rejected, publicly humiliated. It's more than I can bear. More root beer? No, nothing helps. I'm disgraced. Who? You? Never. Gaston, you've got to pull yourself together. Gosh, it disturbs me to see you, Gaston, looking so down in the dumps. Every guy here loved to be you, Gaston, even when taking your lumps. There's no man in town as admired as you. You're everyone's favorite guy. Everyone's on and inspired by you, and it's not very hard to see why no one's slick as Gaston no one's quick as Gaston no one's next as incredibly thick as Gaston for there's no man in town half as manly perfect a pure paragon you can ask any Tom Dick or Stanley and they'll tell you whose team they'd prefer to be on. No one's been like Gaston, a kingpin like Gaston. No one's got a swell cleft in his chin like Gaston. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. My, what a guy that Gaston! Give five hurrahs, give twelve hip hips. Gaston is the best in the rest, is all tripped. No. Nobody bites like Gaston. For there's no one as burly and brawny. As you see, I've got biceps to spare. Not a bit of him scraggly or scrawny. That's right! And every last inch of me's covered with hair. No one hits like Gaston, matches wits like Gaston. In a spitting match, nobody spits like Gaston. Yes, I'm specially good at expectorating. Two, ten, ten points for Gaston! When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get blood. And now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen eggs, so I'm roughly the size of a budge. Help! 
me. Maurice? Please, you've got to help me. He's got her. He's got her locked in a dungeon. Who? Bill, we must go at once. Not a minute to lose. All right, slow down, Maurice. Who's got Belle locked up in a dungeon? A beast. A horrible, monstrous beast. <laughs> Is it a big beast? Huge. With spooky yellow eyes. Yes, yes. And a long, ugly snout. Oh, hideously ugly. And sharp, cruel things. Yes, yes. Now, please, will you help me? Will you help me? All right, old man. We'll help you out. Oh, thank you. Thank you. All right, then. I'll go back out there, and, and I'll get it myself. Crazy old Maurice. Hmm. Crazy old Maurice. LeFou, I'm afraid I've been thinking. A dangerous pastime, I know. But that wacky old coot is Belle's father, and his sanity's only so-so. Now the wheels in my head have been turning since I looked at that loony old man. See, I promised myself I'd be married to Belle, and right now I'm evolving a plan. If I... Yes? Then we... No, would she? Yes. Now I get it! Let's go! No one walks like Gaston. Take cheap shots like Gaston. Plans to persecute harmless crackpots like Gaston. Yes, I'm endlessly wildly resourceful. As down to the depths you descend. I won't even be mildly remorseful. Just as long as you get what you want in the end. Who has brains like Gaston? Entertains like Gaston. Who can, can make, make up these endless refrains like Gaston? So his marriage we soon will be celebrating. My, what a guy. Gaston. Yet, Mrs. Potts? Just about. But I haven't the slightest idea of what she likes to eat, so I've cooked up everything in the kitchen. Oh, good, good. <laughs> yes, Will? Don't just stand there gaping. Get back to work. You tell him. Oh, I can't. Tell me what? Now, don't get upset. But you've got something on your back. <laughs> something on my back, that is <laughs> Ah! What is that? It appears to be a winding handle of sorts. Well, get it off of me. It won't come off. What do you mean it won't come off? It wasn't there last night when I went to bed. Where did it come from? Why is this happening to me? Oh, it's the spell, I'm afraid. Just try to relax. <sighs> relax. Relax. <laughs> How can I relax when I have this, this appendage on my back? Is there no dignity left for me? And what will go next to my mind? Calm down. It will be all right. I'm frightened, Lumiere. I know, my friend, but you are not alone. We're all in this together. <sighs> it's time for dinner. Where is she? Perhaps I should see about her. Won't be a minute. I told her to come down. What's taking so long? Oh, try to be patient with her, sir. The girl has lost her father and her freedom all in one day. Master, have you thought that perhaps this girl could be the one to break the spell? Of course I have. I'm not a fool. Good, then you fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof, the spell is broken. We'll be human again by midnight. <laughs> Lumiere, it's not that easy. These things, they take time. But we don't have time. The rose has already begun to wilt. It's no use. She's so beautiful, and I'm... Well, look at me. He has a point. <laughs> Master, you must help her to see past all of that. I don't know how. Well, you could start by trying your, to make yourself more presentable. Straighten up. Try to act like... 
A gentleman. Impress her with your rapier wit. But be gentle. Shower her with compliments. But be sincere. And, and above all, what? You, you must control, control your, your temper. temper. Well? What? Where is she? Who? <sighs> oh, the girl! Why, um, why is she still in the process of circumstances being what they <sighs> are? <clears throat> she's not coming. What did you say? She's not coming. We'll see about that. Your master, your eminence, your grace, let's not be hasty. Stay where you are. Lumiere, stand aside. I thought I told you to come to dinner. I'm not hungry. I am the master of this castle, and I am telling you to come to dinner. And I'm telling you I'm not hungry. You're hungry if I say you're hungry. Don't be ridiculous. What did you say? You can't go around ordering people to be hungry or not. It doesn't work like that. I can because Besides, I... Besides, it's rude. Oh, rude, is it? <clears throat> then how about this? If you don't come down to dinner, I will drag you by your hair and... That may not be the best way to win the girl's affections. <laughs> Please attempt to be a gentleman. But why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come to dinner. Then you admit you're being a bully. <gasps> deep breaths, master, deep breaths. I'm going to give her one last chance. <clears throat> Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. <laughs> please. No, thank you. Fine, then starve! Master, please! If she doesn't eat with me, she won't eat at all. What were we thinking? We will never be human again. So it appears. Well, what would you two have us do? Give up? I can't give up! Not until I hear the sound of my boy's laughter through these halls again. Quite right, Mrs. Potts. We mustn't give up while there's still a chance. Lumiere, stand guard at the door. If there is the slightest change, inform me at once. We, oui, mon capitaine. I ask nicely, but she refuses. What does she want me to do? Beg? Show me the girl. Now I know the master can be. Temperamental, but underneath all of that, matted fur, he's not such a bad fellow. Why don't you give him a chance? Why should I? Did he give my father a chance? Well, no, but once you get to know him. I don't want to get to know him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. I'm just fooling myself. She'll never seem as anything but a monster. How long must this go on? This cruel jerk of fate. I simply made one careless wrong decision And then that which was gone And left me in this state An object of revulsion and derision Hated Is there no one Who can show me How to win the world's forgiveness? No! What do they say? Shower her with compliments Act like a gentleman Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentle man. Lumiere! Oh, Lumiere! Babette, come to me, my little fluff. Ah, <laughs> Babette, you cut me too. The week. Do you really think a simple thing like that would change my feelings for you? Now you really tickle my fancy. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh no, 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 no. I have been burnt by you before. <laughs> Actually, madame, I am a little hungry. Oh, oh I'll just ring for Mrs. Potts and oh, I'll send you an aria while we wait. Oh, that's so. Right? I'll go myself. Uh, but what about the master? He's really not going to like this. I know. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. I love
like this girl. I like her a spunk. Well, if you ask me, she was just being stubborn. After all, he did say please. You know, I think that's the first time I've ever heard the master use those words. Well, I believe you're right. You see, she's already starting to have a good influence on him. Oh, there you are, dearie. It's so nice to see you out and about. I am Cogsworth, head of this household. Cogsworth, the girl, she's gone. I swear, my aunt, son, damn, mademoiselle. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And this is Lumiere. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Stop it, stop that. Now, if there's anything we can do to make your stay more comfortable, anything, anything at all. I am a little hungry. Except that. Cogsworth! Well, you heard what the master said. Oh, pish tosh, I am not about to let the poor child starve. Oh, all right, glass of water, crust of bread, and Cogsworth, then... I'm surprised at you. This girl is not our prisoner, she's our guest. We must make her feel welcome here. All right, dinner, but... Keep it down. If the master finds out, it'll be our necks. Yes, yes, but what is dinner without a little music? Music? Ah, cher, mademoiselle. It is the deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you here tonight. And now, we invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. B. Our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie a napkin round your neck, sherry, and we provide the rest. Soup de jour, hot or turf, why we only live to serve. Try the great stuff. It's delicious. Don't believe me, ask the dishes. They can sing, they can dance. After all this, this is France, and the dinner here is never second best. Take a glance and then you'll be our guest. We are guest, be our guest. Be fragu, she souffle, pie and pudding all from bay. We'll prepare it's a flare, a culinary cabaret. You're alone and you're scared, but the banquet's all prepared. No one's gloomy or complaining while the flatware's entertaining. We tell jokes. I do tricks with my fellow candlesticks. And it's all in perfect taste like you can get. Come on and lift your glass in one your own free pass to be our guest. If you're stressed, it's fine dining, we suggest. Be our guest, be our guest, be your guest. Get warm, I'll be hot. Every six, is that a spot? Clean it up, 
Days are gone. 